Hey guys, welcome. We're going to do lesson check 10.1. Okay, so many of you probably got through the first couple, but we'll do those. It says, what is the measure of this arc length A? And we're going to go through B and we get to C. So we see the center line is 138. And so without knowing this radius, we can refer to this as 138 degrees of arc length. So same number there. All right, now it says in... If the measure of angle PZR is two-thirds pi in radians, so two-thirds pi in radians, what's the length of PR? Notice we do have our radius. So our arc length, which is what they're asking for in PR, would be equal to the angle theta times the radius. So our angle theta is two-thirds pi, and our radius is eight. So this in our numerator, you have two times pi times eight, or two times eight is 16 times the pi, and we still have divide by three. Notice this matches D, 16 over three times pi. Cool, all right, question number three. Now they start to get tricky. So it's like, whoa, okay, that was straightforward, now it's tricky. What is the arc length of N, through M and get to P. It says that our arc length there is 11 halves pi. So we know our arc length is equal to the angle, this angle, whatever that is, right, over 360 times uh, the circumference, so 2 times pi times r. So we notice here we can find this angle, and the radius here is 5. So our arc length, they've told us, is 11 halves pi, and we have n over 360 times 10 pi. Okay, now I'm going to use this lynch swap, moving things around. So this, I want to leave n by itself on one side, but everything else I want to move. So I want to move the 10 down here, right? I'm going to move the pi down here. I'm going to move the 360 up here. So it looks like we do have n by itself, hooray. And we just have to do 360 times 11. Uh, we don't have to do the times pi, because pi to 3.14 divided by 3.14, that would go away, right? And this is over 20. So we're getting close to an answer, but that's not really our final answer. This one's a tricky one. Okay, so I've got 360 times 11 divided by 20. Let's see what that is in our calculator. 360 times 11 divided by 20. Okay, so we get 198 degrees. So if this is 198 degrees, would this help us figure out our final answer? So going back up here, you're like, hmm, it looks like we could find out the rest of this angle. If I do 360 take away 198, this tells us this would be 162. So this is 162 degrees. So they're asking, what is the length of M N P? M in P. What is the length of this expressed in terms of pi? So they want this arc length. Okay, so any arc length, right, is equal to that angle, and we now know that angle. It's 162 plus 44. So 4, 5, 6, 10, 206. So it's 206 divided by 360 times the circumference, that's two pi and our radius is five. So this two times five would be 10. So we'd have 10 times 206 times pi divided by 360. And notice I could divide by 10. So I get 206 over 36 pi. I'm almost there. Because notice these are both even. So if I divide by two, I get 103 divided by 18 pi, and that's one of my choices. I've done it. Wow. Congrats, guys. That's a, that's a tricky one. All right. Now let's calculate some values and round to the nearest tenth. So what is the measure of JKL? So J, 
through K to get to L. Well, I can find that. I just need to know that angle. So that angle would be 360 take away 130. So my arc length would be equal to 230 over 360 multiplied by my circumference, 2 pi r. Here they've asked us to specifically use 3.14 for pi. So I'm going to plug that in. So plugging all this into my calculator. And my radius here is 10. Let's see what I get. So 230 divided by 360 equals times 2 equals times 3.14 equals times 10 equals. I get 40. They said round 40.1. Now they ask, what's the area of the shaded region? So this is saying, what's this? Well, I just need to find out what portion of the whole thing is. So since this angle is 230, 230 degrees, 230 over 360 times the portion of my area. And area is pi r squared. Oh, and they said for pi, go ahead and plug in 3.14. All right, and my radius is 10. So radius squared would be 10 times 10. 230 divided by 360 equals times 3.14 equals times 10 equals times 10 equals. I get 200.6. Ooh, I think I know what, which one I'm picking now for my multiple choice, but I'm going to go do the last one. What's the area of the unshaded sector? So a couple ways I could do this. I could do, um, I could just subtract it from the whole thing. Uh, what is the whole thing? Well, pi r squared, so 100 pi, would be 100 times 3.14. So that's 314. So if I subtract that from 20.6, 200.6, excuse me, I get 113.4. Beautiful. And that's my final answer. You're saying, well, there was, I could have also said, I know the central angle, so 130 over 360 times my area, pi radius squared. This would have also gotten you the same answer. Just another way to solve the question. Cool. All right, last one. What's the area of my segment? So I can find this area if I start with focusing on the area of the blue and subtracting the area of the red triangle. Okay, so the area of the blue would be 90 is my central angle over 360 times pi r squared. We know that's just a quarter of my circle times pi and my radius, they said, leave it at r. So I'll just leave it like that. Okay, now what would my triangle be? Well, my triangle has a base of R and an altitude of R. So the area of a triangle is base times altitude divided by two. So the base is R and the altitude's R and we divide by two. So that's the same thing as one half radius squared. So remember to find the area of my segment of my circle. I have to take my blue stuff Subtract my red stuff. And it looks like I'm going to have to factor out. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, uh, they both have an R squared, so I'm going to take that out. R squared, so I end up getting 1 fourth pi minus 1 half R squared. So I like, I like these. And now I can actually take a one fourth out, right? Because one fourth, uh, one half times one half is one fourth. So I can take a one half out. So one half r squared would be one half pi minus one. What do you know? That matches D. Nice work, guys. See you next time and happy Easter.